Good Friday morning, everyone. It is July 15th. We made it halfway through the month. You've got a solid uh, week layout for your sales, okay, because there's 31 days in this month, 30th, 31st, land on the weekend, and this is something that we can absolutely uh, take advantage of because July is such a great month when it comes to doing this type of business, getting your numbers up and hitting your goals. It is Friday. Monday is our goal setting day. Did you hit your goals? So was there a reason why you didn't? Is that reason a good enough reason? You know, because this has to do with getting your residual check as big as it can go. So I want to make sure that everybody is utilizing us, Merchant Careers. We're here to help. We're here to give you all the training. We're here to answer any questions, get on the phone with a merchant if we need to, and we're here to do that because, you know what, the goal is about living that life the way you want to. It's Friday, right? You know, a lot of us have to work. I'm, you know, on the road, uh, hospitals here, hotel rooms there, and I've got to work. No ways around it. So the same thing. It, 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 the money is is, is the residual check is part of it. Don't get me wrong, but this photograph that you're viewing right here is where you all should be. You all can do this. You know, uh, again, David, not to be confused with Michael Bolton, he can do this. He knows it. Bill Myers, you can do this. Bev Schneider, you absolutely can do this. Connie, uh, again, Joe Rivard, Kenna Young, every single, Sari, every single one of you guys can do this. Russell Hurd, no reason you can't do this. There's nothing special. It's straight up a numbers game, and you build a residual check that comes your way every month, regardless of your monthly production. We're the only ones that set it up that way, guys. You don't have sales quotas. We do, right? Our national sales director, we do. But you do not. Go out there, get that business, and that check comes every month. And then you can do things like this that you're viewing. We all should be doing this. We all should be lined up right here looking at the ocean. Why not, right? And by the way, thoughts go out to everybody in France, Nice. Uh, pretty, pretty, there's some interesting things going on out there, isn't there? So this is your job. You know, in merchants, they're going to understand that the economy does what? It's just like the stock market. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. Ah, $100 isn't a big deal. Guess what? It's going to be. Savings is going to be. So is service. So is the fact that Kenna Young goes to these restaurants and refers people to that restaurant. That's a big deal for a merchant. Don't underestimate you. You all can do this. Now, there's all of you are special. However, we do have some birthdays today, too. So it's really special for these guys. These are regional account managers. Mark Lefevre. I love that, Lefevre. That uh, sounds like a disco name, doesn't it? Uh, Martin Lazardi, Connie Theus, Ken Kamenu. Hopefully I pronounced those names correctly. Happy birthday. Man, there were four people today, four regional account managers. It did land today. Those are all birthdays for today. And uh, it lands on Friday. Could you not have that set up any better? Nothing's worse than having your birthday on what, a Tuesday? Right? How special is that? <laughs> So anyway, that's the way the, the way the ball bounces, right? So guys, let's go ahead and get to uh, Testimonial Friday. And what I'm going to do, I've got a few folks on here today I would like to unmute, and uh, I know that they're busy. I know they're working. I know that they've got some things rocking and rolling. Paul has got uh, – he simply walked down the street and uh, got merchant statements. I mean, it was literally right outside his front door, guys. Own your backyard. There's a lot of money. Just think of this. Your leads are every company that accepts Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. That is a prospect. All of them. If they take a credit card online, we excel at that. You want to grab those guys. So this is what we're talking about today. And uh, Ronnie's fail bonds, okay? So this is the situation. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to minimize this because I want to go ahead and get the uh, – uh, the RAM up here too. Okay, so this is something we've already got the ticket in. Uh, this is again under leads. This is not, this is an actual company, guys, and this is a pretty neat vertical 
that you may want to consider. So, you know, we have uh, Cody Moore. He's working a nail salon. Uh, there's a Pampered Nails salon that uh, does over 70000 a month that I've got a gentleman working on with that right now, Dennis Tompkins, uh, out in North Carolina. Nice spot. So great verticals because the owners are there. Are they busy? Absolutely. Absolutely, but that's all right. They're very interested in what? Saving money. Sunburst Gymnastics. That may be something that you guys want to look at. We uh, Maria Nicotero just helped uh, get Bullseye Archery. Okay, so that one actually, we've got another one. This one is done. Uh, so you've got uh, a lot of a lot of vertical flower shops. I see uh, Apple Blossoms here. It's a local one uh, flower shop that I'm getting in. So there's there's things that you guys, anywhere you go and use your credit card, your debit card, uh, that's somebody that you can talk to. So let's go ahead. I want to find this bail bonds because, guys, I would have never thought of this, right? And uh, this is boarded. We're moving forward. And I'm going to pull up the uh, actual proposal and show you the kind of money that we saved this merchant. It is incredible. Um, and we can get these done, okay? So this is a situation where Card Connect accepts this where they may you might think of a bail bondsman being a little more high risk this is a vertical and when i say vertical this is just simply an industry an industry type a business type that uh, you may want to you know google in your area bail bonds companies and put your zip code or put your city and you can pull up a whole list of all of them Okay, so today's Testimonial Friday, I'm telling you what this RAM has done, and uh, they really went in here and did a great job. Now, Shelly Clark is our regional account manager. Let me get my little pointer out here for you guys. Shelly uh, was going to be on here today, couldn't make it, uh, but she said, yeah, absolutely, share this, because Shelly now is a regional account manager in her area. What Shelly did is she used to work with these guys years ago and she kept that relationship okay so this is what we're referring to you're not necessarily cold calling right guys we're not asking you and we do have lights out training with Scott Pash and our Paul Webb uh, neuro linguistic programming I'm getting up to speed with that all of your national sales directors are taking that course as well right along with you and guys that is valuable valuable information to have for everything that you do. How do you talk to a woman versus a man? Just as physically where you stand, we cover that. You know, how to deal with all these different personalities. That's in there. You know, and most, you know, most business owners are what? A dominant, you know, et cetera. So you want to be dominant just a little bit less. Well, this is a situation where, isn't it a lot easier than having to go through all that? And let's just go ahead and go with people I know. She knew the owners here. Guys, this is turning into four different businesses because she's got referrals coming already. You know, Steve Stein is the national sales director on this one, and Shelly rolled in there, and, it, you know, they knew her. She used to work there, good relationship. She said, hey, this is what I'm doing right now. I think they, these guys say they could really help you out. She's relatively new, walked in there, got the statements. The guy's like, I don't think you can save us money. I've got a one rate. I only pay 2.4%. Now, for those of you who have attended my Tuesday presentations that show you one rate versus what we do, we give them interchange plus pricing. In other words, we're going to pass through all these fees. And they still have some fees. A one rate does not include everything, and they roll and everything in there fee-wise, so they kind of hide some things. But they've got the owners going, it's easy. Hey, you're 2.4%. Well, guess what? Not only that, once we had the statements, we were able to point this out. The merchant had no idea. He's paying 30 cents a transaction on top of the 2.4%. It is a one rate. Didn't include the per transaction. That's why you get all of the statements. So Shelly, our regional account manager, Clark, in the field, she listened to Steve Stein. Steve does a great job, coached her through this. And, guys, I was on the phone with this merchant because they had questions that Shelly just did not know, was not comfortable yet answering. But, buddy, she 
did not let anything get in her way. She listened in the training videos where we instruct you guys, hey, we want two in the first two weeks. You may say, I don't know anything about merchant processing. How can you expect me? You know, then the excuses come. Then the excuses start rolling. Why? Well, I don't feel comfortable. I mean, I really don't know what interchange is. You know, and we do that every Tuesday. Okay, so if you watch one live presentation, check the Tuesdays out. Because this fellow thought he had the best rate. Look what we did over here, 0.9 instead of 2.4. Now, what we're doing, though, is you're going to see a bigger number down here, and we're not going to go over this today, but we also save him a dime every time he swipes a card. Think that makes a difference? And, guys, this is what you make. You guys are making a percentage of this 0.9% on the rate, and you're making a percentage of the per transaction. So for those of you watching for the first time, Testimonial Friday, Shelly's going to do very well on this one. But look what we did for the owner. So we scroll down, and Shelly kept it real simple. There we go. Hang, there it is. Let me move this over. Right, there we go. 400 bucks a month, 42%. So, in other words, this fellow who thought he had the best rate of all time and Shelly didn't know, you know, uh, uh, you know, PCI from EMV, went in there and did her job. She got the statements. We pre prepared this proposal. We put this together, and this guy has been getting overcharged. This is the way I say it. You know, we're, yeah, we're saving you 42%. Look at it this way. You've been overcharged 42% from your current provider. I think you found a new merchant provider. Plus, Shelly, our regional account manager, is local. She's in the area. Who's these guys? Now, I don't know how referrals work with bail bonds, but I'm not sure, you know, <laughs> for those of you with a sense of humor, that's kind of funny. But think of it this way. What if it's a restaurant? What if it's a... Um, car dealership. You know, we've got a gentleman uh, that I'm getting, uh, Dennis Tompkins, a regional account manager in, uh, I think he's out in Alabama, is getting a car. The guy's like, listen, I, he, he has been a lifetime customer. The regional account manager buys all of his cars from this guy. And this is a big dealership. This is a home run. He's going in there and the guy's like, absolutely. I will give you my statements and give you a chance because you've been a customer with me. That loyalty goes a long ways, guys. You are a big part of the equation. Now, what if we only save these guys 2%? You know what? I use the example, too, with uh, a receiver You know, in football. I used to play college football, and I used to tell the guy, listen, if I'm even, I'm winning. So in other words, if you think I'm covered, that's okay. If it's even, if it, we're only saving 2%, think of all the additional things that I bring to the table. That Kenna Young brings to the table, that Connie brings to the table, Cody Moore brings to the table, Cy, you know, brings to the table. You guys, these regional account managers, Sari, that you bring to the table, what if it's only 2% and 50 bucks? Well, guess what? I'm a customer of yours. Now I'm local. You know, when was the last time that your merchant provider sent you a customer? Here I am. And you've already set this up to begin with. So, guys, this is a niche, I think, and we're giving you, you know, some ideas for our uh, existing viewers that are here today. Um, man, that's a pretty nice industry, and we, we this is done. It's, it's done. We can do these. Now, as far as the Amex go, if they accept American Express, there's one or two differences. Otherwise, uh, we can do these all day long. So, Shelly Clark, thank you so much for uh, letting us do this today with uh, Steve Stein. I know Steve is uh, on the phone right now, but guys, that not that pretty neat? So, uh, and if you're a little confused on interchange pricing versus one rate, make sure you watch the Tuesday's presentation. All right, so that was a great testimonial. Again, down here, let me go ahead and bring it. Shelly Clark, we will go ahead and make sure she gets credit for this today because, boys, that was a nice one. And she's got... Four more coming. The guy has been a bail bondsman for 30 years in that area. He knows everybody. Uh, and again, I don't know how referrals necessarily work with bail bondsmen, but that's pretty funny. 
uh, as well. But uh, yeah, in Jay Hoff, you're able to see the uh, the actual statement. Want to make sure Jay would mention? Yeah, I had to move that over just a hair. And then uh, David Hinton, good to see you here, David. I know David's on the board too. We may need uh, to find out how he got his business too. So uh, who would like to? And let's go ahead and round drop in this. I've gone through our birthdays. We've got about uh, 12 more minutes here today. Uh, Sari, you want to help us out? Robin, somebody, you know how you can raise your hand. Go ahead and raise your hand if you've got a, a pretty good story. Paul, I know you've got uh, – we're still, we're still working on it, but uh, Paul's got a nice story about a buddy of his up there that has a loan with his current merchant provider. And, Paul, if you've uh, – uh, I know you're not shy to, to talk. Do you want me to unmute you, Paul? Let me go ahead and see what's going on because we're still working on it. It's young, and, and Paul is just getting started. Now, Paul, can you hear me? I hear you, Paul. Are you there, buddy? Yeah, you can hear me. I hear you perfectly, Paul. Yeah, kind of kind of let everybody know, you know, you, you're just getting started. You're going through your training videos. You're our regional account manager there. And uh, you've already got statements. You got statements basically within your first week. How did you do that? Well, it was very easy. I just went up to uh, to him and I said, "Hey, since I've been, I was working for you one time, which I uh, uh, I didn't tell you the story. Uh, when I uh, started working for him, uh, it was back oh, about five years ago, and at that time he had a grocery store." And they also had a, a nice company. And yeah. I went out uh, with the uh, with the intention of building this company for him. And uh, he had 67 stores at the time. When I got done, he had 272 stores. These are meaning that uh, I uh, went in uh, door to door to all these businesses and sold them a box. I didn't sell them the box, but I sold them the ice with the free box that they would use during the the contractual. And uh, well, needless to say, the guy um, has been making a lot of money because. Ice, ice is a cash type money. It's not. I wish there was somewhere where he can, you know, using his uh, credit cards to do that because I would be sitting on an easy street. But uh, the only card and swipes that he does is in his grocery store. So, um, and I went over there and I said, well, you know, since I uh, we are kind of a friendly uh, ways that we have both between us, but uh, he has been uh, very, very busy uh, during this time because July is the hottest month for him, for his business. He just doesn't have time. So I said, just give me your, uh, your receipt, and I'll take care of the rest. So that particular day, he did give me the receipts. But he's been dragging his feet because the last couple of weeks we've had nothing but bad storms. So uh, he had no electricity and uh, he had to uh, uh, rent a, a generator, uh, a generator to keep his eyes moving. And uh, he hasn't had time to talk to me or fill any paperwork because he'd been working 20, 24 hours a day. But anyhow, right. And of yeah, and I want to make a point. Yeah, Paul, if you let me, let me just cut in just for a second, guys. I want to make a point here that uh, you know Michigan is not known for their heat, so this is something unseasonal. See, in Arizona, uh, you can make your breakfast in the morning by simply using your dashboard in your car as an oven for your bakery breads and things like that. So this guy, what happened is, is they get busy, but this is where Paul is continuing to follow up, and I know you all have been in that same boat. I have, too, um, and that's why sometimes, right, Paul, you're going you're gonna to have to catch the guy in a different scenario where it's maybe not 9 to 5, you know, or 8 to 6, something like that, maybe catch him on a weekend 
and things like that because you know you, you understand that this is your business you can work whenever you want as much as you want that's the beautiful thing about this and once Paul gets this guy on board just think all the referrals that this client can give him so go go ahead Paul I'm sorry well, no, I'm, I'm glad that you you broke up because I, I keep on uh, ratting it off. But uh, yeah. uh, so far, so far, uh, he has been uh, so busy and uh, he's just not having any time. He's working seven days, uh, almost 24 hours a day. I mean, his flux will keep on going. Some will keep on uh, breaking down. But to tell you, Eric, I have all the stores that still... Uh, in my possession in the sense that everybody knows me. So I can literally go out there. The problem I have right now, I don't have a car for me to use to go from store to store. And that's why I've been using my feet. Uh, mm -hmm. going because everything is literally a couple of miles apart from all the stores that I have around me. And I've been doing that. I've been, if the manager's not there, I've been leaving a card or a brochure to, to let them know we are out there. Okay? Because in this area, we have a lot of, you know, like I told you, I had a couple of, I do have a couple of businesses across the street. But, you know, sometimes you, you have to beat the horse to, to get them to move or the mule to get them to, to drain the water. So, yeah, no, I, I agree, Paul. And and Paul, thank you. So, like I said, now he this guy is not letting something as small as not have a vehicle get in his way, you know, and things like that. So that's why I wanted Paul on here because he's he's uh, uh really uh, shed light on the fact that you know what, if you're better, you, you know, you, you everybody has an excuse. Everybody's got a story, okay, including the, the merchants, including the regional account managers. And, again, we're here to help. We're more than happy to get on the phone. Um, and, Paul, I'm going to go thank you again, Paul, for sharing today. Because, guys, nothing, nothing got in his way. Nothing got in Paul's way. And with that type of attitude and his connections and the fact that, uh, you know, Paul, is, you can tell by the way he speaks that uh, he's a likable individual. Maybe this isn't your personality. Maybe... You know, uh, and I'm just going to pick on a few people. I'm going to go ahead and mute you, Paul. Thank you. Uh, you know, maybe Michael Jenkins is saying, you know, you know, I, you know, walk in store to store, that kind of thing. That may not be my thing. Well, I've got Kenny Young on here that goes to Chamber of Commerce, women's groups uh, that are business owners. And their business owners are there to do what? Share business. We have all types of information that we can do. Uh, and give you as a national sales director and do with you so you are moving forward uh, with what you're doing. You know, Penny, I'd love to have you get out there and uh, start hurting up some people. Sari, I'm going to go uh, and unmute you. I've got a, another regional account manager in our field. Uh, Sari, can, can you hear me? I can hear you there, Sari. Yeah, hi, everybody. Can you hear me? I hear you perfect. Go ahead and give us your 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 uh, upbeat, positive. This is what happened story because I know you've worked with uh, Marie. I've been on the phone uh, with you as well on some scenarios as far as your support that you're getting here with Merchant Careers. Uh, do you feel like you're by yourself, or do you feel like you kind of have a team behind you? Absolutely not. I love my job. I love my team. Extremely supportive. Lots of good. Uh, information it took a while to get through all the tutorials but I did it and uh, you know um, there's two things I want to say patience is a virtue but so is persistence I have some merchants that I know I'm gonna get them but it's in their time not mine okay it's like uh, we learned on one of the tutorials and the other thing I want to say is that uh, I love this job, and I know I can do it, and I just want to tell everybody else the same thing. If if you can't get into a merchant, then, you know, you try a few times, and if it's absolutely no, then just say to yourself, okay, next, because there's always going to be someone out there that needs our help. 
Yes, and and see that that and, and Sarah, thank you so much for getting on here today because I know I could be up here and talk for two three hours if I needed to. For some people, this is not not your thing either, right? But uh, here's the thing: all of you can do this. You you do not need to necessarily uh, be you know like an NBA player, six foot eight, and have the talent and do whatever. It, you really are helping people, and we do pay you regardless of your monthly production. So if an extra 500 to 1,000 helps you out a month, you, you most, of, most of everybody has those type of connections, and these are real statistics. So, you know, and you know how everybody, you know, now it's an election year, et cetera, that, you know, so many people do not have much but then a small percentage of the people have a lot of wealth. You know, it, it's an interesting scenario, and, and you want to see why? 48%, I can't believe this one, half of you will never follow up with a prospect. Now, not you. These are our regional managers, and uh, we're here to help you out and make sure that you're motivated and make sure, because it's hard you know, to be your own boss and, and not have a, a schedule necessarily. Uh, we've got a lot of regional account managers that are very structured and very uh, go get them and pick their spots. And, uh, you know, and Sarah, you're going to be one of those. And one of the things that she hit on was, you know, if you want to be in that top small percentage, you know, 80%, you know how they say 20% of the people do 80% of the sales. Well, if you want to be in that top 20%, here's how you do it. No secret, but I love what Sari said. Hey, you know what? If they're blowing you off, I'll come back. I'll let you cool for three weeks, but here I am again. I'm local. You know, and then you can position yourself with business, you know, chamber of commerce, uh, groups, et cetera. And uh, we go over that on prospecting. You know, those are usually our Thursday presentations. And, uh, guys, she's – Sari, how many – how many uh, – uh, businesses do you think you've contacted since you started with Maria? Uh, oh gosh, I, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Well, like over a hundred, but I have um, in in my area, it's really difficult because we're not allowed to have signs posted everywhere that you're not allowed to list to solicit. So, a lot of it is just getting on the phone. Tell them, hi, I, I've been in your store, I'm a neighbor, I live right here, I want to help you. That's the main thing. I tell them I want to help you because I do. I really want to help people. I was a nursing assistant for 35 years, and this is my new career, and uh, I love it because I know I'm going to help a lot of people out there. So um, that's mm -hmm. it in a nutshell. And like, this, the, like I said before, if you really get to point, I have one man, I call him every morning at 10 o'clock, and he answers the phone, hi, Sari. You know, it's like... No, I'm still not doing it right now. Uh, but uh, so I said, okay, have a good day. You know, I call them once a week actually now. Um, but still, you know, this that you're persistent and they see that and you're confident in your what you're trying to give them, uh, they'll eventually come around and uh, embrace it. Yeah, no, and you're absolutely right. And, and guys, Sari's going to be successful. She will. She's going to have a residual check coming her way, and, and again, areas, you know, different areas are more difficult than some as far as businesses go, and just remember, it's where, you know, everywhere you use your card, you can go ahead and and uh, strike up a conversation. Uh, we, uh, and Sari, I'm going to go ahead and mute you. Thank you again so much for getting on here, guys. Uh, I know this isn't easy if you're not used to it and and things like that, but but you're helping everyone else out. We do this every Friday. So you can hear uh, kind of some tricks of the trade on what other regional account managers are doing out in the field. Like John Taylor had mentioned, he had a, uh, a debit card with a bank account. And uh, when he wanted to talk to a merchant about their merchant things, he actually, before he went in there, he had scraped off the, the little swiper, and it wasn't a chip card. So he knew that thing was going to have trouble at the terminal. So he would strike up a conversation. Hey, you know what we do? You know, I was at the hospital. My mother, most of you know that I'm not in the office right now. I'm actually in West Virginia. Uh, it's very green out here compared to Arizona uh, and a lot cooler. Oh, my gosh. But, uh, 
mother had a uh, a knee replacement, and the little gift store down uh, there took only cash. They had a little makeshift uh, sign up, and I'm like, you know, you know, you can go ahead, and uh, we've got some some products that can help you out when you lose your internet, because people were walking away from their business because they couldn't accept cards at the gift shop at the hospital, which, by the way, guys, hospitals in general, uh, if you know the right person, we can handle those too. So just in the, as an example, and I do personally have a RAM that has uh, a gift shop in a hospital, little gift store, and you'd be surprised. That's a $100,000 account. You guys are making some money on that one. So, you know, don't judge the book by the cover. Uh, you know, and things like that. And uh, let me see. I've got somebody up here. I'm not sure. Venture Marketing. I'm not sure exactly who that is. Go ahead and type your name in so I see the RAM. I see a hand up, somebody wanting to contribute. Just go ahead and give me the name. For whatever reason, there's no name there. Uh, so uh, we want to make sure that uh, we've got a regional account manager on here. But, uh, guys, I know, and actually I know we're, we're going over, but I like, my, I like the Friday presentation. Isn't this a good one? This is where you can get information from other folks. Uh, Joe Rivard, for example, wants to get that bail bonds business, that uh, uh, that proposal. Guys, we can mark some things out and get that information to you. So maybe, uh, you know, Gregory Oki, maybe he, he's like, wow, there's like two of those down the corner. I can I can go ahead and say, here's what we've done with one. This is a client of ours. See, that's what I mean. We're here to help you. We're here from different parts of the country. We're telling you what these other guys are doing that are making them successful. Is it going to work maybe for you? I'm not sure. Andrea Johnson, great to see you here, Andrea. Uh, she's starting with networking groups. She's going to do great. She's going to do just fine because, you know what, she can talk to people. You know, and we do give you the training with the, you know, the Paul Webb training that's NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. That in and of itself is worth about 2500 to five grand, depending on how you take the class. That's available for you, too. You know, and you guys that are regional account managers, you're making 50% every month on any business that you, you go over. Yeah, Sharon Brown, thank you very much. Yeah, mom's a... This is her second knee replacement, so she's been through this before. But, uh, yeah, the hard part's coming, right? So uh, they had her on her feet literally two hours after surgery walking a little bit, So, uh, which is, amazes me. I can't believe it. So, uh, But, again, thank you very much. But, yeah, it, she'll, she'll be fine. But, you know, that, that what I'm getting back to the, the point here is, guys, that you, you definitely have an opportunity. You've got a window here where – Businesses need to get this equipment as well as part of it. Now, we can reprogram existing equipment, you know, and that's something that we can look at uh, over and over as far as uh, getting that, that, that type of, of business going. You, you can still talk to them, and if the prepay penalty is low enough, you're fine. We can go ahead to do that. So that's something that you can – you can absolutely understand. Uh, Bev, yeah, good to see you. I got your license plate, renewal sticker, and got a statement. How about that? Right? So she's getting, you know, getting her license. Uh, that That's an awesome story. Bev, are you, does your computer unmute? I'd like to hear how you did that, actually. That's an awesome story. <laughs> that really is. Uh, Bev, you're, I've unmuted you on my side. There you go, Bev. Yes, hi. How did you, hey, how did you get that? How did you get the statement again? Well, I, I had to get my license plate renewal, and it's it's not the state office. It's another business in town that does that, and um, I got it. Um, and when I got it, I asked about, you know, do they take credit cards? And um, they told me how, you know, they charge extra for that and that type of thing. And I said, well, who takes care of that? And the gal was in the back who takes care of it so it's after I got it I said well can I talk to Bonnie about it and she's like sure and so I waited a few minutes and Bonnie came out and I just told her what we could do and um, and who who are our clients and 
uh, GE and so on, and she kind of was just kind of listening, and then I said, oh, and by the way, if uh, we can't save you any money, we have a $1,000 guarantee, and she's like, all right, and she was up, she copied her statement and handed it to me. So <laughs> it, was, it was pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, and guys, I want everybody to, maybe you were getting ready to tune out on me because I know we're eight minutes past time, but that's an awesome story where wherever you're using your card, Bev didn't bypass the opportunity to just see and ask. And what's the worst thing that can happen, right? I think a lot of us, uh, the fear of rejection is, is a large thing. It's a no-joke thing. And uh, uh, guys, what she had done was kind of come in here. There, there really wasn't an obstacle other than herself. And, you know, she's getting her license plate renewed. And what if she said, nah, I don't feel like it? Well, then, you know, then, then she's that rock right here. You actually, you actually did that to yourself, right? What Bev did is, is she's on the road already, you know, license plate kind of trying to tie this together, but there was no obstacle. She asked, guess what? The girl was there. Guess what got her through the door at the end? A thousand dollar guarantee. We pay that. You know, First Direct Financial will pay that. Uh, we haven't yet. We're going to beat the rate. And then you go in. Are we going to beat it by 42% like those bail bonds places? And guys, they're pro they are getting, I think they've got a mental attitude that they're a high risk business. So they'll pay, they, they understand that they're going to pay maybe a little more. They don't have to. This is where Sari had remembered, and she had been in the healthcare and uh, helping people business all of her life. And we really are helping this business. The businesses can't wait to get started. We've got four more lined up for uh, Shelly uh, Clark, the regional account manager in that area, and uh, that's how the ball rolls. Hard to get that ball to rolling, but once it goes downhill, it, it picks up momentum, picks up speed, and you can just zip right around it. If you can't move it, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll do that. May I add one more thing? Absolutely. Um, you know, I've only been doing this for a week, so other people probably already know this, but um, what I've learned in just that week is, you know, I'm in a rural area that still takes a lot of cash and checks. But what I'm starting to do after um, having some experience with this this week is I'm starting to offer my debit card and credit card more often because then you hear the issues that they're having or how they don't like what they're currently doing, and then I may write a check or I might use cash, but then I have a conversation open. So that's that's been working too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I'm in a, a same scenario right now, and I've got uh, some friends I'm going to go uh, meet this weekend. But every business I come by, though, is uh, it's not a, a major franchise chain. So there are people everywhere, and guys, if folks are a little nicer. They're not... You know, Bev, you, you're going to find out they, you know, people have come through there trying to, to get some business, but not nearly as much. And it's actually an advantage where you are because you're going to be a big part of that. And folks, when Bev gets a business online, they will be there for five, ten years. You will have that residual check every month at that place that where she got her, her plates renewed. They won't go anywhere, you know, and that's that's the power of this. And Bev doesn't have to do three of these a month to get her residuals full and, and all the games that these companies play were very simple, very transparent, 50% of what hits our door, you get. And you get it every month. I don't care if Bev signs up four people, she's making a grand a month, she can quit. That extra thousand, you know, would helps a lot of people. Uh, the the five hundred a month would help a lot of. That's a good, you know, you could put that towards a kid's, uh, you know, education. You could, you know, there's a bunch of places that you can do that. And remember, cause Bev is one of the main things. So she may be able to find out what their cause is, you know, and and again, it's it's you know, if it's not tough now, you know, it it may not get better soon. With their business, a lot of businesses are expanding. 
a lot of businesses are going e-commerce and online, and that's where Card Connects really excels. And Bev, I know, I can't believe you've only been doing this a week. I've seen your name a few times already coming across the uh, the information. So uh, do you guys understand Bev didn't wait around to learn everything? What Bev did was, hey, she did, you didn't know these guys, right, Bev? The, no, no. So total cold call. You were you were a you were a customer. So you went Correct. in as a customer and got merchant statements when you walked out. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. So you guys that, that and again, you know why Bev got that business? I'm going to go ahead and mute you, Bev, because I I know I need to get off here. Uh, but uh, guys, the, the, ask for it. You know, and they'll come up with something. You know, you just need to learn more information uh, of, to get those statements. You'll get them. And ask them questions about their business. Like Bev said, you know, maybe maybe these people aren't accepting uh, cards at all. They just don't understand that the prices have gone way down and, you know, they can be more competitive. A business that does not accept a card, maybe they could get more business. You know, the stepping over a dollar to pick a nickel up thing, that's probably the case. So... Everyone here can do this. Andrea Johnson, I want to get on the phone with you today. I know I'm 15 minutes over, uh, and I apologize for uh, keeping you guys extra. But, uh, folks, you heard from four different Rams in the field today. This has been an outstanding Friday testimonial because usually we get one. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the one that we had lined up was busy, so uh, I handled that one. And then uh, we round Robin. And everybody's here to help everyone else out. You know, just like our NSDs, you know, if something's working with the RAM, I let the rest of those guys know. Uh, we work together as one unit as well because we are vested in your success. We are vested in your success. We're all in the same boat. If you're not making money, we're not. Period. That's a good situation for you to be in, isn't it? Because this is your own business. Joe Rivard, yes. Good ideas today. There were some real good ideas today. Hopefully you were paying attention. And we do this every Friday. Every Friday we do this uh, a lot on Thursdays as well. Remember, Tuesday's presentation so you understand the pricing. We do that. And, uh, guys, if you have an obstacle, go around it, under it, over it, whatever you need to do. No one's stopping you and every single person that's on here can have a nice residual check when it's all said and done. But you see this road right here? you got to get out on it. You know, poor Paul doesn't have his car yet. You know what Paul's doing? He's walking. And he's getting statements. He's getting on the phone. You know, not nothing's going to get in his way. All of you can say, woe is me, woe is me. The world owes us nothing. It was here first. It's a little Mark Twain for you. It was here first. Nobody owes you anything. Right? Go get it. This is the perfect vehicle. You have found the perfect company that's going to continue to pay you regardless of your production. And you've got a partner. You've got a team behind you. This isn't something you're out there on an island by yourself. You can do this. All right, guys? So, again, have a great weekend for our birthday Rams out in the field. You guys landed on a Friday. Be safe. Uh, David Bolton, thank you very much. Yeah, a lot of good categories. Uh, thank you. Yeah, and thank you. Yeah, thanks to the Rams. Yeah, thanks to the Rams. That's for sure. Uh, Paul, regarding a shirt, you need to shoot me an email. Okay, remind me on that. I'll get something over to shipping. Uh, they have pretty much all the sizes, unless it's. Uh, uh, a, a, a big shirt or a real small one. I'm not sure, Paul. Okay, so we'll get you. A, we'll make sure we get that shirt to you as well. All right. So send me an email, uh, Andrea Johnson. Please send me an email. You bet. I want to get on the phone with you today, Kenny Young. Thank you. Yes, all good stuff today, guys. We had some good stuff today. This is. I was a little worried when Shelly couldn't make it, but uh, it turned out to be one of our better Fridays. So I'm going to get this posted. I'll have Sean help me with that get this thing posted up for you guys so you have a week to kind of get motivated again. If you ever feel down or anything, get on one of these. Get on one of these because we're here to make sure it's very clear that you all can do this. Why not? You know, every business 
someone's going to make money on every card that's swiped. Visualize that. Every credit card that's swiped at that business, someone's going to get a little piece. Why not you? Why not you? You all can do it. Thank you very much. Eric Rogers here with Merchant Careers, First Direct Financial, and uh, have a safe weekend. We'll see you Monday.